My name is Sandeep Gupta. I am a postdoctoral scientist in Samantha Butler Lab at UCLA. Our lab primarily works with the sensory system of the spinal cord and we study how the sensory system forms in embryonic development. I did my PhD from Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur in 2015 and then I joined UCLA. My research primarily focuses on how the sensory system forms when the embryonic development happens and if we can use that information to make these neurons which are responsible for sensation from the embryonic stem cells. And this is important because uh, you can use these neurons for the future regenerative therapies where they can be used for the transplantation in the patients of spinal cord injury. So this is the primary focus of my research. Neuroregenerative research is important beyond the motor recovery because both system, motor as well as sensation, they work hand in hand. So even if you fix the motor system, if there is no sensory system giving the feedback to the motor system, the motor system will not work. So we need to focus more on the sensory system and how to regain sensation along with how to regain movement. quantification of what kind of molecules are formed in the cells. These molecules are often in, uh, in the form of uh, RNA and to quantify the RNA we extensively use the reverse transcriptase uh, PCR reactions which is the most important which is the first line of uh, evidence we use in our research. We quantify the RNA species like what kind of RNA species are formed when, when you treat the stem cells with the different molecules by RNA-seq analysis, but RNA-seq analysis gives you millions of, um, millions of reads and it is very data heavy process. So you need a system where you can validate the results which you get from the RNA-seq and for this kind of validation we use, we are, we are heavily dependent on RT-PCR uh, superscript 4 for that purpose. A good candidate for RT-QPCR is that it can make CDN out of any sort of length of RNA. It should be fast because we deal with uh, sam like multiple samples at a time, so basically um, speed up our research. Um, so these are the factors which, which are very essential for the RTQPCR. So the main feature of Superscript 4 is the speed and reliability by which it can make cDNA from the RNA species. Uh, we look for, for this product because we can have very high yield of cDNA and because we deal with multiple samples at a time, speed is very important for us and it is speed up our um, research process. So that's why we chose Superscript 4.